In southeastern Wisconsin, Lake, uh, you will find Camp Wandawega in Elkhorn, Wisconsin, to be specific about. An hour and a half from Chicago, a little over Lake Geneva. You pass Lake Geneva when you come here. But this was discovered by David Hernandez as a little boy coming from Chicago with your family. This is Teresa Surratt, his wife. They own Camp Wandawega now because it was your dream when you were a kid to come back. Yeah, I thought someday, it never occurred to me that someday we could own the place when it was my child to a church camp, but mm -hmm. Father Beginskis called one day and said, okay, if you're serious, if you guys want to buy the place, and that was back in 2004, and been slowly fixing it up ever since then. This was going to be a family and friends retreat, Teresa. What happened? Oh, my Lord. It was supposed to be. We just mm -hmm. liked to have parties and entertain, and then all of a sudden people started showing up and asking if they could come, and then it got bigger, and then it ended up in a couple of magazines, and then now we're booked all the time and we do a lot of events now and all kinds of events. You can come to a regular tent but you can also come to a luxurious tent. We're showing you a little bit of the grounds and everything is kind of tucked in, right David? Yeah it is. We like these little kind of hidden away yeah. moments so that people can kind of discover them as they're wandering the woods and then you come upon a place like this and it's just this amazing surprise in the middle of the woods. We don't call this glamping though. No, no, no. There's no glamping at Camp Wonderwagon. No. There's no glamour in the camping. We joke that we're an eighth of a star in a five star scale. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is the night Right. I think of the rustic, but yeah, we're definitely not a glamping resort. How many people can sleep in this one? This one is part of a cluster that can sleep up to about 10 people, but in this tent by itself, you can sleep uh, four comfortably. Mm -hmm. So you'll see a couple little beds here on the perimeter, and if you go back behind this wall, you'll see a full-size bed, kind mm -hmm. of the mom and the mom and dad set up back here. That's what immediately what I thought. There. The kids yeah. were going to be out here. Exactly. Teresa, what were you trying? I know you are very much into restoration and saving history. So how have you accomplished that here? Oh, we try it every day. It's really mm -hmm. our mission. So we've moved about seven buildings so far. Right. This tent is not one of them, mm -hmm. but all of the stuff inside is recycled, is reused, is vintage. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the buildings that we have here, instead of building new we save old cabins we just moved to hundred year old log cabins and mm -hmm. so why build something new when you can take something that's going to be demolished and give it a new life all ages are welcomed yes they are mm -hmm. definitely I mean kids come with adult supervision not on their own so it's not like a traditional kids camp mm -hmm. but they would come as part of a group event or they would come with a pre-planned event with their family mm -hmm. so no counselors here yeah it's not camp no counselors but we definitely leave people on their own you show up and we don't even give them a key they just make their own way around we give them a clipboard they figure things out and we just ask them to not burn the place down yes please and we'll, we'll, talking about that we'll talk about bonfires coming up around town you'll get the full camping experience here at Camp, Camp Wanda Wega. We'll have more coming up around town.